Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. I want to do that boat hull in Fusion 360 and I took this design, the original design from Matthias Reppenhagen from one of his really amazing models which you can find on GrabCat. I made a drawing, so let's take a look at the drawing. So here it is, and for the first steps you need those views here. And further on you will need those here as well. So let's zoom it a little bit so you can see all the dimensions. And of course you could make a screenshot or two and then follow this exercise step by step if you want. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. So first I want to create some planes. To do that in a convenient way, I have to do sort of a workaround. I want to do a sketch on that XY plane. I need two lines, at least two lines. I could go for a rectangle as well. So let's go for a rectangle and that rectangle should be five, no, not five, but two, seven, six, zero by one one two five zero in dimensions. Why? Because I need it sort of as a reference in order to get decent sized plane representations. So this would be five thousand and that distance here would be two seven six zero divided by two like that. Finish that sketch and now I want to do some planes which will appear here, here, there and there. So I could hide the sketches. So if I do a new plane it will get a decent size. So this should be 2760 divided by 2. Then another one opposite direction, same dimension, so it's minus 2760 divided by 2. Another one distance to this one and that should be 5000. Another one to this one opposite direction minus 11250 divided by not by not divided by plus 5000. So there is some wrong. Okay. Another one distance to this one, 250. Another one again to this one, opposite direction, that would be minus 1600 plus 250. And a last one for the moment, and that would be minus 1760 plus 250 and bring in the sketch and you see it aligns and now I could try to move that sketch up to the top should work like that and then edit that sketch and redefine the constraints so let's go into that sketch maybe move it like that okay 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 so this should be removed, that should be removed, this one and that one. And it should be for construction. Okay. Now let's move it a little bit away from the planes. And then align it with collinear. So this should go here. Yeah, first you have, of course, to project those planes into the sketch. So go for P, select this one, that one, this one, and the one here, here. Confirm, and then go for collinear, and align that rectangle with those planes. Now I need arcs 
so hopefully they behave the way I want them to behave. So let's go for an arc, a three point arc. Should start somewhere over here on that line. Maybe go up like this. Okay, like that. Then go there onto that line and maybe like this here. So I snapped collinear, uh, not collinear, but tangency here. That's great. Now this point should be on that one here. And I need a distance from this point to that one here. And that should be 850. Great. Now add a radius of 6500 and one here with 30,000 30000 okay and a tangency between that line and that arc okay now let's mirror this so go for mirror i want to mirror this arc and that arc and that would be the axis here confirm close that profile here with a line and now we should be able to do an extrude so go for an extrude and make it two sides and it should go to that plane up here and it should go to this plane down below and confirm. Now in order to do those chamfers I need to split that body. So go for split, select that body, use this plane as tool and confirm. Now I can do those chamfers chamfer on this edge two distances yes one three one ten by five four zero then another one on this edge here again it's one three one ten by five four zero so why the hell does zero okay and then i can combine those maybe that's the target this is the tool and confirm now let's go for the fillet and the fillet would be 1092 so fill it on this edge and that edge and it should be 1092 confirm Great. Now I want to create two more planes. So I need a plane with a distance to that one. And the distance should be 80 millimeter. There you go. Then I need another one to the opposite side. Again, a plane. Let's move here and try to select that plane. Yes. Now it should go in that direction, and that would be minus 80. So that should give me two planes, which are symmetric. Yeah, they are symmetric. Now I need a sketch on the XY plane. On this one. I want to bring in those two planes and those at the end as well. So go for PV project and select this plane, that plane, this plane, and of course that plane as well. Then I need a rectangle. Let's make it maybe like that. And let's align it. So this one and that one this one and that one 
and this one and that one here and this one and the one on the other side like that great finish that sketch now let's make an extrude with that sketch here so with that sketch i want to make an extrude I just select it here and it should be two sides and two object up to that plane here. Seems it didn't select the profile. Let's try once more to select that profile. Now I've got it and it should be joined and the other direction should go to object as well but to the lower plane and confirm great now i need a fillet and the radius of that fillet would be 1350 so go for an edge fillet on this edge here this one here and that should be 1350 confirm nice maybe hide those planes for the moment and now i need another fillet with a radius of 5000 so go for a fillet and it should be along that edge here and it should be 5000 like that so it will compute that edge here that's okay is there an option rolling ball setback no that's okay can we do it on the other side at the same time probably not so let's just go for okay and do another fillet on the other side same radius again 5000 so let's go for this edge make it 5000 as well okay that's okay now i need three more sketches so let's bring back our planes maybe do first a sketch on the that's the yz plane yes and i want to project go for p this plane here and that plane here yeah now i need an arc so go for what pardon me go for okay and now go for an arc three point let's try it like that like this okay and then move this over here so go for this should be on that plane this should be on this plane then i need a tangency constraint from that one to that arc and the radius would be 16,000 finish that sketch next sketch would be on the XY plane so another sketch on the XY plane I want to bring in this plane here so go for P project that one into your sketch I need a circle and the diameter of that circle should be 3800 okay that center point should be on that axis here and I need a tangency to that one and I want to make this a little bit more convenient so let's add a dimension from here to that line maybe 1000 ok 
okay then make this for construction only trim it yes and now and finish that sketch and the last sketch would be on this plane here and I need to project another plane and that would be this plane here I need a circle diameter would be 2 times 5790 so let's go for 2 times 5790 then put that center point onto that axis here let's move it a little bit down if possible and then make a tangency between that circle and that projected plane yes finish that now i want to shorten this one as well okay add dimension from here to that plane nope you have to deselect the plane the projected plane that's the plane and then go to that line here like that and maybe go for a 1500 make this one for construction go and trim finish that sketch as well and now we can do some surface extrudes so go to surface go for extrude let's start with this sketch here and it should be two-sided this should go up to that plane and to this plane on the opposite side okay then another extrude with this sketch again two-sided again up to an object that would be that plane with 250 here that should be this one I suppose yep and to the one at the bottom okay another surface extrude now with this sketch here and this should be again two-sided and it should go up to that plane and up to this plane confirm and now we can split or trim there's only a split command i think there's no trim body there's only split body yeah, split body i want to split that body here with this tool and i want to keep that side is that okay seems to me okay and then i could remove that body so go here and remove this body here you could hide it but i want to remove it like that then hide that surface now go for another split body that's the body now i want to split it with this surface go there no that's the wrong one i want to use this one here and confirm hide that surface body no that's the wrong one that's the right one and hide one of those bodies again this one yes and remove it now the last 
split body that's the body this is the tool here that's the tool confirm again hide the surface and remove that body here yeah this looks okay what to do next add some fillets maybe in this case we can go for 40 on this edge and that edge and let's go for 40 millimeter okay add another fillet here again 40 millimeter and that leaves only the shell left so go for a shell select the surface and go for 100 millimeter like that now hide those planes and i'm done so i hope this was helpful hope you liked it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel that would really help you could follow me also on grabcat instagram facebook and many more thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye